Liam. I'm Emma. We are the Wambakan Arbu team. And our topic is uh, how Korean views plastic surgery. Plastic surgery procedures are a very common practice in South Korea and in any given subway station or public transportation, you can find a number of billboards advertising plastic surgery clinics. Instead of discovering how the plastic surgery procedures are done, our group wanted to examine how the Korean public perceives plastic surgery in an effort to understand why Seoul has become the plastic surgery capital of the world. According to the International Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, in 2050, South Korea was ranked number three in cosmetic procedures with a total of 1,156,234. Donna, you're right. Comparing to the number of population, mm -hmm. most plastic surgery is done in Korea. That means four, one out of four women mm -hmm. In Seoul, they got uh, any kind of plastic surgery. Dr. Harmony, we are ready for operation. All right, what are we doing today? It seems the client would like our most popular surgery. I'm getting a double eyelid surgery to make a please avoid my eyes. Um, after the surgery, my eyes will look bigger and it will be easier to apply makeup. Uh, I think for Koreans, double eyelid surgery is like a pretty makeup. Mm -hmm. It's very no judgmental thing. It's a very simple procedure. Everybody's, oh, she can get it. This is such a simple procedure. They don't even consider it a surgery anymore. Mm -hmm. Since I'm graduating a college soon, I need to think about my future and how to better um, my chances at applying for a job. Since I have to include the recent picture in my resume, it's important that I look my best. During like employment season, plastic surgery, uh, hospitals will see uh, the business go up. Oh, really? Yeah. Korea is very competitive. Mm -hmm. We're a small mm -hmm. land, a lot of people. Like uh, getting a job is very competitive. The thing is, like even job application, they like turn out people based on their photograph. Mm -hmm. So our experience is one of the very powerful like things mm -hmm. when they want to survive in this mm -hmm. competitive society. During an interview with Dr. Kim, we learned that because Korea is a very homogenous country, the standard of beauty is much more precise compared to countries such as the U.S., where the population is made up of numerous ethnicities. Due to this specific beauty standard, many Koreans feel the pressure to enhance their features. Dr. Kim even drew our attention to the Miss Korea beauty pageant winners from the past 10 years, and how all of them look extremely similar because they all have the same procedure. Stuff. In order to discover the opinions Koreans have about plastic surgery, we created a survey and divided the results by age, gender, and religion. This helped us to determine what factors affected the opinions of the people we surveyed. While analyzing the results of our survey, the most surprising aspect was found while looking at the results when separated by religion. We found that while 5 out of 30 of those who are non-affiliated, 0 out of 19 Christians, and none of the 5 Catholics had gotten plastic surgery, 3 out of 5 Buddhists had gotten plastic surgery. Admittedly, this result is a bit skewed, as we only surveyed 5 Buddhist people. However, the ratio is still astonishing. One of the Buddhist people who had not gotten plastic surgery was in their teens, and the other was over 50. Both of these age groups had no surgery done overall. Also, one of the women who had gotten plastic surgery explained that it was for health reasons as she had broken her nose, leaving only two out of five Buddhist people having gotten surgery for beauty reasons, which is still a somewhat shocking result. There are multiple factors that explain why certain age groups have gotten different amounts of plastic surgery, but the results cooperate with our hypothesis. 
teens are generally considered too young for plastic surgery, and people in their 20s often get small surgeries, like the double eyelid surgery and sometimes even nose surgery. Double eyelid and nose surgeries are considered facial surgeries. They're more common, whereas surgeries done on other parts of the body that are normally done at a slightly older age are recently becoming more popular. This is likely the reason people in their 30s have the most plastic surgeries. This shows how recent plastic surgery became popular and acceptable. People in their 30s were able to get the double eyelid surgery when they were younger and since then have had time to get more invasive surgeries. People 50 and above didn't have any surgeries as we had expected as they lived before the wave of its popularity. The only type they would likely want now is anti-aging, which is a big surgery, and many might not be ready to take that step. This perfectly shows what Dr. Kim said in our interview. The two most popular times for people to get plastic surgery is when they graduate high school as a present from their parents, or late 20s, early 30s, when they're applying to jobs. Although none of the men we surveyed had gotten plastic surgery, during our tour and interview we learned how the regions and procedure can differ when contrasting genders. Definitely more females, but there are a good amount of males that get it as well. Um, uh, males also like to get this, uh, what do you call it? So it's like a hidden fold, so it's not a line that's definitely showing, mm -hmm. but it kind of goes inside their eyelid. So it looks very natural, mm -hmm. but that still enhances their eyes and makes it look bigger than if they don't have anything at all. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's a lot more popular method with uh, males. We always, we have a first impression. Mm -hmm. oh, like, a, yeah. like a job interview, they have this first impression. Guy, they have a, like a strong jaw or like straight and high nose. I think, oh, he's very determined. Mm -hmm. oh, he's, uh, I think he's, he's going to work hard at a job. So okay. giving that kind of impression is really important. Mm -hmm. So for men, not to it look pretty, or, but, mm -hmm. but they want a more confident look mm -hmm. like that. Overall, the most comfortable group talking about plastic surgery was people in their 40s, who all answered from 5 to 10 on the scale, with most of them choosing 10. In the other groups, most people seemed to feel comfortable talking about plastic surgery, but there will always be some who are less comfortable. Specifically, people in their 20s and teens seemed less comfortable than we had predicted. However, when asked about getting plastic surgeries, this quickly changed and people in their 20s were the only ones to all put neutral or positive answers. People in their 30s, even having overall gotten the most plastic surgery, felt less comfortable. The charts have fairly similar results moving down the scale, and when comparing men and women, women came out generally more comfortable with getting plastic surgery as we had expected. Many of the men we surveyed expressed a similar level of comfort. However, compared to women, there were more men who didn't feel comfortable at all. When responding to how comfortable people would be with their significant other getting plastic surgery, the results were pretty spread, with people in their 40s being the most comfortable, with their significant other all responding five or above. Women were also found to be fairly comfortable with their significant other getting plastic surgery whereas the men's answers were generally more negative. Looking at our results altogether, the Korean population seemed to be growing more accustomed to plastic surgery. We discovered that for the most part, procedures are done to improve job opportunity, opportunities, and double eyelid is still by far the most popular surgery, but other surgeries are also rapidly rising in popularity. Religion-wise, as expected, non-affiliated people are more comfortable with plastic surgery. But we also learned that Buddhist people have a similar level of comfort regarding plastic surgery. Likewise, younger generations, specifically those in their 20s, and women in general are more, much more comfortable with getting plastic surgery. And to all of you guys who are looking for employment, and the rest of you, fake, fake it till you make, make it! it. Thanks for watching! Thank you! <laughs>